This weekend we're having an amazing International Matchmakers and Dating Coaches Conference. And the exciting thing about it is it's bringing experts from all over the world that are either new to this industry or have had many, many years in this industry to collaborate, network, share ideas. People are extremely excited and eager to network and share ideas and be with one another. Helping people find love. I call it the happiness business. I've just started a new matchmaking business called Made to Measure Matching. I'm excited by social media. I'm excited about the interaction with people. I've had a great conversation. Who are in the same business with you, and it's not really a competition, it's just helpful, and I love it. It is really not a competition, there are more than enough people. I say that to people in the dating scene as well, because in New York, people are like, oh, they're not, it's not enough, not enough, not enough, and I say, there are more than enough, more than enough people for you. There's more than enough. There's at least, there are thousands of people that are perfect for you in the city, so, and I'm here to help you find some of them. Today, the industry is now 2.1 billion, with the offline almost at a billion. So we're like almost catching up to online dating. To be successful in a business, you have to have business tools. You have to understand the business side of it to be successful. And the fun side is setting people up and talking about love. But if you don't have those skills of actually running a business, I've seen businesses fail massively, overspending, not sure how to promote your business, not sure how to build a database. So these are crucial elements and they're all issues that we address in this conference. So we take people's excitement about the industry and talking about love, but give them concrete tools and skills to build this business. Now, it's time for Speed Networking. So, I'm going to be talking to you today about coaching female clients for success. The gist of it is that dating coaching focuses on immediate and action-oriented changes to find what you're looking for. So you write it, you optimize it, and you share it. The quality of your content has to match the quality of your website. So another important piece to start thinking about is how do you actually do this? Paul Brunson about social media, Melanie Gorman. In the beginning, matchmaking tended to be a very individual, separate type of business with competition as number one and not collaboration. And so when we started this, it started growing each year. You have 40, you have 60, and now we've outsold two venues to create the ability to service everyone that wanted to come this year. The ability for people to share and collaborate has been so exciting. I think it's a life-changing experience.